Okay, so now we are uh, taking a look at uh, HTML page and notice that as I resize it, um, some of the colors that it change. Um, this is what usually happens if you're running some media queries. And so let's look for a second at our code. We've got some HTML. You can see that we've got some tables, a table in here with called position one, position two, position three. Those are equivalent to these ones, alpha, beta, cat, able, beta, cat. And then we've got a table surrounding all that. And we've got an article surrounding all that. And then we've got a header up here and we've got a body here. So that's our HTML. Over here, you see, we define the background color for the body, for the paragraphs, for headers, for articles. So we've got various different kinds. Down here, you can see that we've got three media queries. Um, let's also notice that because we're in Notepad++, we've got these, what are called media margin, folder, folder margin styles here. And if we want, we can turn them off altogether, but we'll just leave them on as little box trees. And then you can see that they, along with our <clears throat> curly brace matching, help us delineate the sections in here. And we can see that we've got a media query that stretches from here to here. We've got a media query that again stretches from here to here, encapsulating some things. We might notice there are some things about these media queries we don't we don't like necessarily. We might prefer to have the curly braces up there. This one, it looks like it needs to be indented. Um, you know, so you clean things like that up. One thing you might notice is that we have got in here, I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see that we've got three media queries in here. We really only need two. We're going to need one for defining our, def we're going to need a default area, and then we're going to need one for medium size. We'll say for a max width of 1024, and then we've got one for a uh, max width of maybe 600. Um, why don't we actually pick a little different numbers? Why don't we pick 500 here? Because I'm in a screen that's, I'm, I'm showing you a portion of my screen that's only 1024 in size. So I'll make them um, 800 here and then anything bigger than that, we'll get these default values. The default value for the background will set to blue. And then the um, for a medium size screen, we'll set it to green. And for a phone, we'll set it to 500. Okay, and then we'll make it red in that case. So let's see if that's working. We'll tab over to our screen. We'll do an F5. And now you can see the background's blue when it's big. As we get a little bit smaller, doesn't appear to be working quite right. All right, let's go back and look at our code and figure out what we did wrong. Media screen, max width, 500 picks, 800 picks. Oh, it's the article that we're changing, not the body tag. So let's go ahead and move some of these tags in, um, make sure that there's things like the body tag and the header are in here. And we'll come down here and we'll add them in. Okay. I just found some code here that needed some work and I'm not quite sure all the work that it needs, but we'll go ahead and add them in to here. And we'll go ahead and make some adjustments to them. And now we can see that here's the foam, which is the one we want red. And so it should be FF. And then here's the, um, the header and we'll make it just a slightly different shade of red. And we'll make the article, um, yet another shade of red. Um, okay. And then inside of here, we'll do the same thing. We'll make the body a nice shade of green and then we'll make the header a different shade of green and the article yet again another shade of green it actually looks like we don't need the font tag to be inside of these media queries so why don't we pull it out of there now let's go back and look we're going to refresh it's blue when it's large 
as we get smaller things turn green and smaller yet things turn red. So now we're getting quite a bit of it working well. We're noticing these headers don't look quite right. Um, the header for the phone looks good. The header for the tablet looks and the header for large doesn't look quite right does it it should be a dd and then the article here should be a a let's go back and look at it again now look it's all shades of blue all shades of green all shades of red so the only thing that's missing now are these little the parts of the table so let's go back and we can see that let's zoom out for a little bit and you can see fairly clearly where our media queries are. Here's one and here's another. And then these guys, the ones for position one, position two, position three, the ones that are in the table, you can see fairly clearly that they're not inside the media queries. So let's move one set of them up. It's always good to organize your code coherently. So we'll go up here to the very top and we'll have one section up here which is not part of a media query. That'll be our default value. And then we'll have another section down here, which will indent properly. And that will be part of our media query. And then we'll come down here and we'll make another one that'll be part of our media query. And now these ones here, we're inside, if we look up here, we can see we're inside the phone one. So all of these ones down here should be red. And um, we've gotten to AA for the background color for the article. So we'll go down here to 99, whoops, zero, zero. We'll go down here, we'll make these ones seven, seven. It doesn't really matter which shades we're choosing here. So that should make all those shades of red in the phone section. And then up here, now you can see we're in the tablet section and we'll make these all shades of green starting with nine, nine. Sounds a little, well, never mind. Seven, seven. And then we'll come down here And we'll put these in here. And then up for our default ones, we want these all to be shades of blue. 9977. And down here, we're going to go to 55. Five. And then if we come back here and refresh, all shades of blue when we're big, all shades of green here, all shades of red there. And you can see that we're able to get some control over these guys. And again, when we scroll out, one of the nicest things you can see is how clearly um, we can use these little margin guys to see which guys belong in which place and which ones are just the default values. And you can scroll in and do them. And if you want, you can, you know, pick like the top one and close that whole section down, right? So you can see, you know, you see how that works. All right. So let's... Um, Let's uh, just call it a day there. Just wanted to give you a little bit of review of how you can use some of the tools inside of um, Notepad++, like the pattern matching here, where if we highlight one of them, we can see what the other one that's highlighted, which, which curly brace belongs with which curly brace. So we highlight this curly brace here, and we can see which one it goes to, and we can also see the folder margin all lit up white along here. Can really help us see how we're organizing our code. All right, so Charlie Calvert, Elvenware video, a little bit on responsive design here, a little bit on how you can use Notepad++, some of the tools inside of it to help you organize your code and fix code that's broken and make it work. All right, thank you very much, and you have a good day now. Bye.